Hi guys, it's Michelle, so I'm here for another wig review with you all. So today, the wig that I'm going to review, I have been sent this complimentary. The video's not sponsored, I've not been paid to do it, I've not been set, told to say anything. Um, it's really just to give you my honest opinion um, on my hair. So, we're just going to crack on with it. Okay, so the wig that I want to talk about today, I was very kindly sent from Rosie at Daxborn. Now, you might wonder what is Daxborn? Basically, the company that owns Natural Image. So, if you go to naturalimagewigs.co.uk, the website here um, is where you will find a lot of their products. Okay, so one of the wigs, I have been sent three gorgeous, gorgeous wigs to try. So one wig that I want to show you is a synthetic wig. It is part of the Inspired collection and that is by Natural Image. The wig is called Tranquil. It's an average size wig and the shade that I have chosen is Caramel Glow Rooted. So this is the box. It's very beautiful. It's very plain but lovely. So there we go. So it's an average size wig. It's a kind of long bob or lob if you like. <laughs> so. I will pop all the dimensions for this wig along the bottom. Um, I'm going to show you the cap construction first of all before we put the wig on my head. If you're not sure about cap construction and what I'm talking about and it's a bit like a foreign language, I'll link a video right up here. Um, if you click that card it'll take you to a video of me talking about wig cap construction. I've got a wee article on it I will link down below in the description bar. Okay, so the inside of the cap, first of all, we have wefted sides and back, standard machine wefted type inside cap. We have the velvet ear tabs here on each side, which are lovely, smooth and soft. At the nape, we have this kind of velvet section along here as well, lovely and soft. As I said, it is an average size of cap and we have these Velcro adjusters that you can tighten or loosen up if you so require or desire. Um, the top of the cap, is predominantly kind of standard wefted, um, sorry, standard permities mostly around here. We've got this kind of net section. However, what you will notice is we have this area here, which is the lace front, which is extended from here to here, that runs right back and up into a monofilament parting. So that does give a natural look like the hair is coming from your own head. Beautiful. So, without further ado, I'm going to pop this on and let you see it. Okay, so, let's have a wee look here. So this shade is Caramel Glow Rooted. Obviously this wig does come in a range of colours. I have seen a few of the natural image wigs now, and I have to say, um, the colours are beautiful. There are misted shades and there are kind of glow shades. And you should have a wee look on their website, have a look, check them out. They're very beautiful, very natural, from subtle highlights to full-on highlights to more blended colours. This is Caramel Glow, so it's a very warm tone with some glowing blonde highlighted throughout. It is rooted at the top. I'm going to put it on and let you see. So give me a wee second. Now, for those of you who know me, you may know I'm not always a fan of a wefted wig. Now, I was asked to have a look at a few wigs and just to choose which ones that I would like and to have to review. So, I have chosen, this is one of the wigs. I knew it came with a wefted cap. Um, I tend to wear a bamboo wig liner so that wefts don't irritate my scalp. I just loved the style of this. So, let's get it on and show you what I'm talking about. Look at you. So this is the wig, as you can see, this is called Tranquil. Now I will come closer and let you see the lace front on this, it's a very very natural hairline. You can pull that back and it looks like the hair is coming from your scalp. The lace runs from like here to here, so it's a really broad extended lace front on this wig, really beautiful. The parting, as we said, it is a monofilament parting, so it does look natural. You cannot change the parting around too much because you only have this kind of to play with, however you know you can move it slightly to the left or slightly to the right if you require now the ear tabs have wire in them so you can mold them this is how they run here and here so they have the moldable wire they are lovely and soft against my head 
I love this kind of length of wig, it's really beautiful. Um, the benefit of the synthetic hair is this is just going to return to absolutely the same shape once it has been washed. Um, it's minimal maintenance with a synthetic wig. This length is good. What a lot of people don't seem to like about synthetic wigs is that they can be prone to a bit of friction damage, um, friction frizz and fraying towards the end of the wig after a period of time. That's just due to the acrylic fibres rubbing together and they start to free. So what you can do though after a period of time, if that begins to happen, you can steam the wig. Now the benefit of this, it's always going to stay this lovely turned under shape that we have because it is synthetic. Synthetic does not mean not good. Basically, human hair wigs, I have a wee video talking about synthetic and human hair. I'll link that one up here for you guys. Um, there are benefits, there are pros and cons to different things. It's much more manageable to have a synthetic wig. You can literally wash it, hang it to dry. It will dry much quicker. You literally put it on and go. There is no styling required. Obviously, if you want to, you can obviously tie that up. Like, you could put that into a ponytail. You have the lace front, so you can even pull it right back if you like. I tend to leave bits down at the ears. But yeah, I mean, you can have a kind of really quick hair up type of style. And it is really beautiful. I do really, really like this. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous shape of wig. What I do also love, I love with the lace front. I can wear it down, but have this kind of big bump top section at the front. You can obviously tuck that behind your ears. Your lace front is running away back to here. So it looks so natural so so natural it's really beautiful now let's give you some facts and figures in regards to in regard to the length of this wig I need to stop playing with it and just let you see it <laughs> okay so the fringe length the bangs the front layers on this are nine inches long in metric that's 23 centimeters the nape is five centimetres, eh, no it's not, the nape is five inches long at the back which is 13 centimetres, the crown to the tips is 11.75 inches which is 30 centimetres in metric so the overall length of this beautiful wig is 15 inches long from tip to ends and that's 37 centimetres so I'm going to turn around and let you see it, it's very much your kind of long bob So there you go, that is the hair. <clears throat> so this is called Tranquil, it is by Natural Image and it is part of the Inspired collection. It's really beautiful, it's a lovely range of wigs. I do like this, it's very affordable. I recommend you guys go to the website that I have noted here and I will link down below. Have a wee look and do check out the Natural Image wigs, they are really beautiful. I'm quite excited and I do have another couple of wigs that are available from the site um, that I will be reviewing again very soon for you guys. But um, for just now, yeah, I mean, if you're into a bobbed wig, if you like your kind of long bobbed wigs, this is a gorgeous one for you. I mean, there's so much that you can do with your kind of long bobs. Even if you just want to kind of do something with the front of this wig, just to change it up ever so slightly, you can you can have your fringe, you can have bangs cut into it if you would like. Um, you can even just make the most of that lace front if you want it kept out of your eyes. Obviously, because for me sometimes I feel with longer bobs I move around so much, and I feel that the way that I wear wigs I wear them slightly further forward. Um, sometimes they can be in my face. So what I tend to do is I usually like one side, I maybe tuck slightly behind my ears, but I like to have something a wee bit different sometimes with my wigs. So like for example, what I am doing with this just now, with no mirror in front of me, so I hope it works out, um, I am just trying to pop a wee braid in this to show you a wee French braid in this wig. I'll tuck that behind my ear there just now. So I hope you can, I'm kind of moving into the camera here. So you could kind of pin that back then here. You could just have the rest of the braid hanging down. You could curvy that and have this here. You can tuck that bit behind your ears. You know, there are options and 
with the lace front on this it's going to look incredibly natural so this is a nice length for me I like this and I wanted to try this because this length I think <clears throat> it's not quite as much maintenance as a long wig might be but it's not really short either it's very much medium just sitting above the shoulders um, it's really really lovely and um, you can obviously pop those front layers you can run your fingers through this I apologize <laughs> you can run your hands through your hair and have that sitting like so if you like this kind of look kind of off the face you can see that lace front here but you do like to have the hair at the sides you like to have hair around your face but you like the swept back look as well this is a perfect wig if you know what I'm talking about I quite like to see those layers um, this is a beautiful wig for doing that now you've got Rosie Rosie I love you and thank you so much what Rosie also sent me was this gorgeous gorgeous little pack of hair care which has a little wire wig brush I tend not to use wire wig brushes I actually tend to use a tangle teaser brush on my wigs I feel they're more gentle and that's my personal preference Rosie you must have known this because look you sent me this gorgeous tangle teaser with flamingos all over it super cute yeah but anyway we have a wire wig brush in here we have some shampoo you should always always use a shampoo and conditioner or a balsam any products on a synthetic wig they should be made for the synthetic wig I used to use fabric conditioner it can damage the hair it can damage it so please use the appropriate products if you want the kind of longest period of time out of your wig for a few pounds for a bottle of shampoo or a bottle of conditioner that will, that's going to maximise the longevity of your wig it is well worth it in my opinion um, I have ruined wigs by thinking I knew better and using baby shampoo and then fabric softener I've done that and when I converted over to using actual shampoo and conditioner for synthetic wigs I found all of a sudden surprisingly my wigs lasted me so much longer I do need to try all of this out and let you know what I think there's a finishing spray in here this is a beautiful wee package in fact do you know what this would be lovely if you know someone who wears wigs you could buy them this wee package so beautiful anyway that was just a wee extra so yeah so you should always use appropriate products I mean look at the colours in this caramel glow obviously the wig comes in so many shades I love that kind of very red strawberry tone through this and then there's the blonde as well and you have a slightly darker root I love it it's just so gorgeous that strawberry tone is very like my natural hair colour which would go very light strawberry blonde when I was younger and um, when I had my own hair uh, that's how it would go so I do I am very drawn to these kind of shades this is beautiful the fibre feels soft it feels lovely and um, I have had this on for a couple of days wearing it it's not shedding it's not casting it's just really really beautiful I think it's a flattering style and um, you know I do I do like this shape if you want to have a fringe if you want bangs cut into it then obviously you can do that you can style this it's such a lovely length and that you can tie it up so if you are somebody who quite likes to stick a wee ponytail into your wigs you can do that very easily with this wig you can tie it up um, it is of a length that you can easily tie that back without any problem whatsoever um, and it looks supernatural not supernatural as in ghosts <laughs> just extremely natural so guys if you consider this wig let me know if you decide to go for it because it's a wee beauty and it's one that I'm going to get a lot of wear out of I am so lucky to have so many gorgeous wigs just now and can alternate between them all so any questions if there's anything at all you want to know guys just let me know down below in the comments it's a beautiful wig I don't know what else to say it's gorgeous um, so whether you're a bit of a shorty looking to go a bit longer whether you're a bit of a long hair girl looking to go slightly shorter but not brave enough to go really short with your wigs um, this is a great kind of stepping stone if you're going short to long or long to short this is just your kind of perfect in between medium length it's really really stunning and I don't think there's much more to say in the matter other than yeah consider it or guess it just get it just
get it just to yourself <laughs> so thanks guys for watching another review and uh, thanks for tuning in and for coming back if you've been to my channel before let me know if there's anything in particular that I can do a video on to help any of you guys out there remember that you're all beautiful and yeah you are beautiful so thank you thank you once again to natural image thank you especially to rosie i've enjoyed our email chats back and forth it has been so cool <laughs> so guys take care and until next time i will see you all again very soon take care of yourself Mwah.